Welcome back, I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Angevin Dreams. Alright, last time we finally put down the, those rebels, and then uh, it's pretty much been a case of trying to rebuild. We've commissioned a few things in the capital, we're working on expanding our men-at-arms. Four of our seven regiments have, are at their max size, and we're working on increasing the size of others. Uh, let's see. Oh, everyone's replenished. Cool. Then let's go ahead and recruit another. Let's increase the size of our second light horseman. And how about our pikes? You know what? Screw it. We'll do, yeah, all three that are not at max. We'll go up by one. Oh, I no longer have a court tutor. Oh well. I can deal with that, actually. Injured. Balanced humors. My son and heir, Senu, has recovered from a cold. Wonderful news. Jesus be praised. I didn't know he was ill in the first place. A secret exposed. A secret has reached the light of day. My niece, Countess... Judhael has had an extramarital affair with my vassal Earl Milos. How could she defile the sanctity of her marriage? Let's see, this crime cannot go unpunished. Um, no, we'll go with these accusations are not but malice and lies. Secret expo- okay. I am lost for words. I like how it thinks that 16 out of 19 nights is few. War declared. Greetings, Pope Eudes of Anjou. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. It seems that there is no recourse for our dispute other than to settle it on the battlefield. Northman Army Conquest of Duchy of East Anglia. There's still Northman Army? Oh, they're Catholic. They can still do that when they're no longer a star? Interesting. Rally the troops. All right, and we've finally converted the culture in Kent. Kent is Greater Francia. Nice. Okay, so, um, as much as I'd love for you to keep doing that, let's see, could have you promote cultural acceptance. Let me take a quick look. Rhinelander has what? Chanson to Jest. We have chivalry. What do we have? We have philosopher culture, keep it up. We speak to Oil Holder, they're ceremonious. Well, I'd have to take on. Okay, if I hybrided with them, we'd have to take on the central Germanic heritage. Okay. Anglo Saxon, we could take on bureaucratic. Be able to take on Anglo Saxon aesthetics, which would include Anglo Saxon names. Should be really nice because they have some cool names. In fact, at that point, I might just go and say, Yeah, we're just doing Anglo Saxon names. 
Um, but you know what? No, right now, just, yeah, collect taxes. That's the best thing you can do at the moment. Okay, so there's a Northman conquest against me. Alright, how long? Okay, my chaplain's got another nine months. Um. Okay. Well, I've got my army raised. Should I provoke another war? He's a known criminal, allowing me to revoke his title without being viewed as a tyrant. The front says new Alois Champagne. Go ahead and raise all here. We could just raise the men at arms here. Let's raise just the men at arms, see what we can do with that. Alright, then, yeah. We'll go ahead and try to revoke France. Keep it for myself, and then that way it'll be inherited by my heir. Since the capital is in France. He'll get that instead of England. Um, yes. Revoke title. You are a criminal. You are not fit to be a king. Challenge for artifact. Not happening. Right, and of course he uh, declared that war, so let's go ahead and call Bavaria into this. And let's call Hungary into this. My spouse gained the trait architect. Nice. Good job, sweetheart. Alright. Go march on Paris. Oh, I need a better commander than that. Bavaria is joining. Good. I don't have any great better commanders available right now. Okay. And Hungary accepted as well. Good. Now let's call them into the other war as well. have been really faithful and helpful allies, and I appreciate it. And that's one of the reasons I'm not going to uh, make too much of a stink over them being of the wrong faith. Yeah, I should raise the... I should raise the whatchamacallits to the levees. Northern Menace. Let's see. Oh, if it's land they want, why not give it to them? 
East Anglia, it's not like I hold any of that. My experienced soldiers prefer gold to glory. We'll banish these invaders as we've always done. I lose stress if I give them that. No, we'll banish these invaders as we've always done. Oh, they're trying to catch my levees. Which they've done. I'd better send the real army there then. Before they just slaughter all of my levees. Oh, they're just slaughtering all my levees. The real army won't be there in time. Okay, spouse a helping hand. Your vassal, Baron Ionis, recently found himself in a bit of trouble. Empress Ch Chasna smiles serenely as she continues, I made sure the situation resolved itself, and to mention you as a benefactor. Let's see, uh, excellent work. Now we have a hook on him. Oh, and someone is seeking indulgences. Excellent. And we thoroughly beat him in that battle. Nice. Oh, another indulgence. Good. Oh, right. I have learned um, Saxon. Excellent. Alright, so I now speak how many languages? 14 out of 15. Polabian speaks Lachetic. Polabian's High German, High German, High German. Saxon, Dutch, right? Like the oil vulgar. The oil vulgar. Ock vulgar. Sure, why not? I'll learn Berber. Witchcraft induction? I learned that Prince Gado I learned of Prince Godofroy's witch secret. Okay. Let's 
happened over here? Burgundy changed hands again? I'm getting tired of having to demand conversion of new rulers. Guys, demand conversions from your vassals already. Come on. If you're a king, part of your job is to convert your realm to, uh, Angevinarianism. Speaking of which, three months. Right, good. My new Queen of Burgundy has embraced Angevinarianism. Good. One of my sons learned Brythonic. Oh, the one that's currently a lord in Wales, and is my heir. Conan comes of age. Let's see, what did he get? He is... a thrifty clerk. Okay, they grow up fast. taken Paris. Okay, what other lands are specifically his? Um, you, Sens, Beaumont, Oh, Etant is also in the Ile de France. We'll go ahead and take that then. A new hobby. My best friend Mathilda approaches me with a big smile on her face. My dearest friend, we rarely we finally see each other. I feel like we never spend any quality time together lately. Maybe you'd be willing to try something new with me. I know just the thing to distract your mind, restore your body and lift your spirits. Wine. My friend, let's drink our sours away. I don't think that's the best of ideas for a 79-year-old, even if he is in pretty damn good health. Um... When she's my best friend somehow? No, it doesn't sound that appealing to me. Oh, he's died and I have a new heir again. It's Senu, outliving a child. Oh god, how could you do this to Senu? If I have sinned, why did you not punish me instead? Alright, I gained 14 stress. And now my heir is his heir. Lady Adelaide of Ceredigion. And she has no... She's 26 and has no children. Come on, pop out some kids. Although watch something randomly happen to where she'll no longer be the heir, and it'll be the next of my own children down the line. Prince Tirnalok the Hawk, Duke of Weiss. Alright, we took a ton.
percent way over there. No, let's go to brief roll size. Actually, no, let's work our way towards the coast. Let's go to Beaumont. Oh, and I've lost my wet bears. That's okay. Dangerous faction, what is it now? Dutch Catholic populace. Damn Catholics. Alright. Um, Yeah, phones. Go there. Convert the heretics there. Oh, I've lost my steward. Alright. Any of my powerful vassals make good steward. My new queen of Lothringia would be a decent spy master. A better spy master than my current my current spy master. And if I recall, Radomira would be... Oh no, she's a bad steward. What about this prince here? No. No one would be a good steward? But it's such an important position. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it to the best person for the job. Sorry, powerful vassals. Stop being shit at things if you want to be on the council. I need a good steward right now. Having decent tax collection is vital. Mighty Pen. Picking up the padded swords from the sparring match with my daughter Leoflin, I notice a tattered journal on a sideboard. From the cover, it seems to contain exercises and best practices pertaining to the martial arts. Leoflin glances in my direction. Oh, that thing. I mostly read it for the illustrations. You can borrow it. It's intriguing. I increase, increase my martial by one. Or we should try it out. We'll further her martial education focus. Yeah. Let's further her martial education focus then. Learn language success. I have learned Berber. Excellent. So I now use the strong. Pope Eudes the Strong, of true heir of St. Peter, Emperor of Anjou, speak the oil vulgar, high German, Anglic, Norse, Italian vulgar, the oct vulgar, Arabic, Greek, Brythonic, Dutch, Magyar, Hebrew, Lechidic, Goidelic, Saxon, and Berber.
What a polyglot. Can marry. Good, then they should. All right, this sea should end this war, and then I can go deal with the Northmen across the channel. Alright, let's go ahead and increase the size of the um, armored footman. Well, how go the buildings in Anjou? Alright, the one in Anger is done. The crayon could use buildings. The flesh could use buildings as well. I think I want to go with military academies in the capital. So I need 470 gold for that. Okay. Once we have the money, we will do that. I seized Bustard Feather after the Siege of Rouen. Okay, that's fine. You know what else I've seized? I will enforce my demands. Which means I have seized the King of France. So be it. And now... Prisoners. King of France. I'm revoking the Kingdom of France. And all your other titles with it. Revoke title. To the vile Pope Beards, I see no choice but to bow to your decision to strip me of the Kingdom of France. Exactly. And then, Carloman. That'd be too much. If you wish to be free, you will have to renounce all of your claims and become Angevin Aryan. But yes, we'll negotiate your release on those terms. Or, no, but if I kill you, your children get your claims. But yes, renounce your claims. I could recruit you. No, just demand conversion. That's fine. I have no choice to the evil Pope Eudes. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. I know we already fulfilled that one a long time ago. If you didn't notice, it like popped up this little thing uh, saying that we fulfilled Kings to the Seventh Generation, but we've already done that in this playthrough a long time ago. All right, so, let's land there.
Okay, so out of curiosity, now what would happen? My heir is heir to Empire of Lord Shu. Wait, she would only inherit the county of what? She wouldn't even incar inherit the capital? Are you kidding me? Wait, let me look at Anjou right now. Her little brother. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Stop being like this. Well, there's a new Queen of Wales. Excellent. Let's demand a conversion from her. And let's pass High Crown Authority. Can get another stewardship perk. Excellent. Um, I guess let's go with detailed ledgers. Why is the capital not going with the imperial title? That's utterly ridiculous. Especially under our current... Okay. Yeah, it says that my player heir would get the uh, realm capital. And the realm capital is Anjou. France has a different... France has mail only. No, remove the law. There we go. Did that fix it? So now she would get the Kingdom of France and the Empire of Anjou and like seven more titles. Okay, let me look at Anjou. The county of Anjou. Yes, is now going to my player heir. Okay, good. That's what the nonsense was. France still had the law that it could only be hit up by a male. That's why it was going to go to her brother. Even though the empire was going to go to her. Alright. Good. We're taking care of that. Okay. 
to my liege, I have decided to follow you into the light and convert to Angevin Arianism. Blessed be God. Yay! Good job, Queen of Wales. Shouldn't even have the title. I know wish she would have uh, refused. So then I could revoke your title and it'd be lawful. Oh, I have the money for it. I'm operating at a... Despite being way over my holding limit, I'm actually turning a profit. Cool. Well, I'm going to stay way over my holding limit. I mean, I should be dead sometime in the near future, so... The more things I hold, the more things my heir can inherit. So the better position she'll be in. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the capital here and construct our... Oh, I don't have enough money yet. I thought I did. Sorry. Physician's knowledge increases. That's cool. How is the council doing? Okay, that's right. He is still collecting taxes. Excellent. Alright, here I am. I will now go to liberate Norwich. Oh, I've lost my spymaster. Alright, my new... I have a Duchess of Burgundy, who would be a good spy master, but she hates me. Oh, she's the wrong face, no wonder. I'll tell you what, accept the true faith and you can have a you can have a position on the council. Good. And I guess I'll start swaying you. I really don't want a spy master with a negative opinion of me, especially a spy master that good. How did he become my acclaimed knight? He's a duke. I'm so confused. Okay, let me look at my accolades right now. Okay, he didn't. He got it and then he lost it immediately because he couldn't hold it. No, I'm not creating an accolade. Let's look at my inactive ones. Oh, good, I actually have people I can make uh, Captain of the Lorraine Galley. Um, Baron Jacques of Etant. Great, you are Captain of the Lorraine Galley. But no one that can serve as Knight of the Tiara. Lane. I've liberated Norfolk, so let's go attack the invading army in, where is this? Hursting Stone, which is in, what is the county? Northamptonshire. Better commander. Yes, Count Pochard of Jaligny. Minting new coinage. 
It is my right and responsibility to determine what coinage is to be used throughout all of Anjou. The choices I make will determine how the coinage, and by extension my realm, is seen throughout the world. Let's see, mint silver coins to facilitate trade. Development growth plus 5% uh, in my capital. Mint gold coins imprinted with my own visage. I lose stress. I gain prestige. Debase the coinage with inexpensive nickel. I gain stewardship lifestyle experience and stewardship challenge. 64% chance I get new silver coins minted and 300 gold. 36% chance I lose prestige. But either way, I gain stewardship experience. Debase the coinage with inexpensive nickel. Oh well. Prisoners that can be ransomed. Other hooks that I can demand payment for. Keep running away, let's follow them. Battle of Norman Croft. Okay. And that was enough to win the war. Enforce demands. Greetings, Pope Eudes of Anjou. May you live in harmony and contentment. I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. Indeed. So be it. And I could found a holy order. No, one of the cities in Anjou, that'd be a good spot for their base. It cost me 500 gold though. I was trying to build that other thing. I can hold mystical communion? I can attempt suicide as well. Nope, but I am founding a holy order. Arian holy order found. With your support, Grand Mistress Brunisenda has founded the Knight's Hospitaller. Nice. Okay, let's hold mystical communion. It would give me a lifestyle, ex um, leader, not learn. It would give me learning lifestyle experience. That's okay. Um, let's disband the army. Arian exaltation. Duke Thomas has gained a spotless reputation for his absolute rejection of any carnal pleasure. His unwavering discipline has served as an example to fellow, I mean, to follow for young, many young Aryans trying to resist the debasing lore of lechery. He's an example to us all. What is our fervor right now? 100%. Okay. Um, what is the holy site set up right now? Jerusalem is in the hands of... The Assad Emirate, Rome is in the hands of the Pope, the Catholic Pope, the False Pope. Santiago is in some, but we hold Cologne and Canterbury. 
which gives us what? Control growth plus 0.5%, I mean plus 5%, cultural fascination progress plus 5% from Cologne, and then Canterbury is giving us religious vassal opinion plus 5, sway scheme power plus 10%. Speaking of sway scheme power, um, I'm trying to sway my spy master. How's that going? Oh, cool. She likes me a little bit now. Greetings, my impressive liege. I have arrived in Angers to pay you, pay homage to you, glorious emperor, as a show of my loyalty. So you bring gifts. All right, cool. Show them in at once. This is the Duke of Wessex. House Mercia. Oh, wow. This house has gained a reputation for being dominated by its enemies in its feud with House de Loire. It's a pathetic family. Interesting. Yeah, that's what happens when you start beef with a more powerful family for, like, no reason at all. And then keep doubling down on it. Alright, um, nope, show him in at once. Um... What is it? Is he being clumsy or not speaking well? Being clumsy. Your oaths are all that matter to me. of Italy is demanding an artifact from me. That's nice. Oh? What war are you engaged in? Okay. Ailing with age, befuddled. Where am I going? Why did I come in here? I could have sworn. Right, I was looking for a for a, for some for a something. Was it urgent? I had to get back to someone quickly. Next week? Yes, I think so. Aha, there it is. That's what I wanted. I needed that for for. What was I thinking? I am gained stress. Okay. Know thyself, close to the end. I can feel it in my very bones. Death will come for me soon. Like an old friend, he is patiently waiting to receive me. I will be dead within a year. Okay, then. Well, I should call in all of these um, ransoms and hook payments that I can, then. See if I can't start building that duchy building before I die. Let me double check the secession real quick. 
Need to make sure she actually inherits the right things. Okay, it looks like she is. Yeah, that's fine. You can have that person. those indulgences, construct the military academies in the capital. Freedom and friendliness. Malik Aziz has been uncharacteristically friendly towards me lately. Um, if this change of tone is indicative of a change of character, perhaps you could be convinced to release my acquaintance Zidir from captivity. Um, surely if he truly wants to be my friend. He offered mercy for my acquaintance. Nice. Go ahead and increase the size of the pikemen. Oops. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure what I did to make my max 12, but my max is now 12. On the Light Horseman. Is that something to do with... Oh, some of my French holdings, I think. Fellow servant of the Lord, as our order of the Knights Hospitaller grew, grow, we need more land from which to organize our defense of the Aryan faith. The city of Reinek is perfectly suited to our purpose, and we wish to lease it into service for our cause. Um, oh, nice. Uh, your request is granted for God. Leof when comes of age. Nice. What did she get? Brilliant strategist and aggressive attacker. Nice. And her prowess is 18, so she should be one of my knights now, right? Let's find her a spouse. Matrilineal, of course.
This giant Cisalpine fellow has a 30 prowess. What's her prowess? 22. Yeah, you know what? Marry this guy matrilineally. He'll come to our court, and you can both be knights. Send the proposal. And who knows, maybe you'll have Amazonian giant children. Alright, I'm back to my max knights. Uh, let's look at the inactive accolades. No, I can't do anything about that one. Can, however, spend some more money on reinforcing the armies. Let's increase the size of the light horsemen there, and of my armored footmen here, and my pikemen. Okay, everyone will be at eight once those replenish as they should be. I know this is getting kind of long, I just wanted to wait until his death since we know it's going to be within the year. The Family Craft. Um, I am just finishing up with today's business in my council chambers when my, when my Empress, Empress uh, Chasna saunters in with her sister Jagoda eagerly at her heels. I put down the ledger I was just reading, knowing no good can come of this unexpected visit. Chasna hesitantly remarks upon the room's furnishings, but these bare stone walls drive you the least bit mad. I know exactly what this room needs. Tapestries. My sister is excellent with a needle and thread. Sponsor her and see how her creation will improve your mood. I have more tapestries and furs and such than I know what to do with. So, I've been thinking the very same. It's dreadful in here. We've not a penny to spare on such luxuries. I don't care if I grow closer to forming a rivalry with her. Um, I'm going to die soon. You have died. Opiudes of true heir of St. Peter has found peace in Christ's embrace at 82 years of age. He died of old age, a keen and dedicated hunter. He loved to spend entire weeks in the wilderness looking for the most elusive game. Pope Adelaide ascends to the throne, well spoken and outgoing. Many expect Adelaide to have no problem charming the court to her side. Yes, continue as Pope Adelaide. Just to make sure she inherited France and Anjou and the Anjou and Papacy. The new Empress, with the passing of my grandfather, Pope U Eudes, responsibility to lead the vast empire now falls upon my shoulders. I stand before my vassals, adjust my new crown, and watch the cupbearer pouring some drink. Oh, the things that I will accomplish. Long live the empress. Oh good, and she's, she, oh good, she's pregnant. Okay, so she's got Sardigian, Touraine, Blois, Anjou, Bonds, and Veda. Oh, she lost all that good French territory that I really wanted to hold on to. Oh well. At least she kept the kingdom title. 
And then who is now the king of England? Her uncle Tiernalok. Okay. As it should have been. He was always meant to be... Well, not always, but... Uh, since his older brother died, he has been meant to be king of England for quite some time. So there we go. And that's going to be it for today, to see how things go for our new empress. You'll have to tune in next time. This has been Crusader Kings 3 Angevin Dreams, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless of course you have. She's trying to seduce someone. Okay.